Good evening to you. Welcome. Rain arrives at the scene of that wildfire just above the town of Silverthorne this evening. That fire, the Ptarmigan Fire, burning on the mountainside east of Silverthorne and north of Interstate 70. Firefighters ordered new evacuations today. Now, our meteorologist Lauren Whitney will show us how the weather is affecting that fire. I want to start, though, with Kelly Worthman on the ground in Silverthorne. Kelly, how are things looking right now? Well, Jim, right now there's still a pretty good amount of rain that's coming down, and the temperature here has dropped about 20 degrees since our last live report at noon. Taking a live look there at Ptarmigan Mountain, you can see there is still smoke visible, very clearly visible, and at times you can even see the flames, despite, again, all this moisture and the cooler temps that we're experiencing. Even still, just about an hour ago, Summit County did issue a new pre-evac notice. Take a look at this map here. This is for County Road 2020 to the east and uphill and north of County Road 2021. This does include Daly Ranch. They say all because of the fire activity that's kept fire crews busy all day. Winds whipped up the flames on Ptarmigan Mountain Tuesday, forcing the evacuation of more than 600 homes. It's easier to move people out of these neighborhoods like we did last night while things are like this rather than a panic, right, in the last minute panic. We just hope for the best, of course. Dan Wall has called Silverthorne home for nearly a decade. Uh -huh. He and his wife were out to dinner Monday when the fire started just about a mile from his house. We got the notice on our phone and we couldn't uh, go back. We went back and they wouldn't let us up. So. This is all we have is what we got on our bodies. Evacuees like Dan were given credentials to go home to get belongings as long as conditions were safe enough. But as a midday storm rolled in and wind shifted yet again, that return looked unlikely. You know, we don't want it to continue to move downhill in, into the, the housing developments. Amid the bright fall colors now framed with smoke, there are thousands of trees claimed by beetle kill. They're fueling these flames, making conditions dangerous for firefighters on the ground. You know, last night up along the fire line, you know, we could hear, uh, you know, a lot of the, the trees coming down. That's why fire managers say they're focusing on the air attack. Hopeful a day of rain and more moisture on the way will help. We're really looking at additional precipitation in the next couple days as well. So we're really looking forward to utilizing um, the weather to help us fight this. And it's pretty clear the weather right now is helping in the firefight. That being said, again, there is a pre-evac notice underway right now. Fire officials are holding another update here in town at 6 o'clock. So as we get new information, we, of course, will bring it to you here on air as well as online. We should mention, Jim and Karen, the cause remains under investigation. Reporting live in Silverthorne, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. All right, Kelly, thanks so much. I want to get in now with meteorologist Lauren Whitney.